You should obtain advice from your doctor or medical professional before participating in any activities offered by Chronically Awesome. Never rely on our content in place of seeking professional medical advice. By using this video, you agree that you are voluntarily using or acting upon our content. You also agree that, save where Chronically Awesome is at fault, your use of or acting upon the content is at your own risk, including, but not limited to, all risk to yourself of harm, injury or illness, and in particular, any harm, injury or illness resulting from overexertion or exacerbation of any medical conditions caused by the use of the content. Always remember that, if you experience pain while using or acting upon our content, stop and consult your doctor or medical professional. Always warm up before a class and warm down after. You do not need to complete an entire class. You can always start with a short section and build up to completing a full class over time. Pace yourself and listen to your body. Most of all, have fun. Exercise should be empowering and make you feel good. If it's not fun, try a different style of class until you find something you enjoy. Hey everyone, it's Beth from Chronically Awesome. Today's workout is a leg and lower body workout with kettlebells. The kettlebells are optional, so you can do all the moves with and without weights. I'm going to run through a demo of each move with all the progressions and regressions before we start the workout so you know which option to choose and it's not sprung on you too quickly. Okay, we've got four moves in the workout and there's two rounds. So we go through each move, we do 10 reps of each and then we do it twice through. But there will be a break in the middle. So if you want to stop and have a rest or come back to it later in the day, later in the week, you're more than welcome to do that. Okay, our first move. Without weights, we've got a sumo squat. So you take your feet wider than hip width apart. We're going to drop for two counts, squeezing the glutes really hard to turn the knees out. Down for two, up for two. If you haven't got weights, try and keep your hands close to your chest or upright. Roll your shoulders back and down and squeeze between your shoulder blades. Keep that chest nice and high. It doesn't have to be a deep squat. It just has to be really good quality. I want you to watch my chest. I'm going to go side on. So my chest stays nice and upright. My bum is targeted between my heels. want to add weight, you can keep the kettlebell nice and close to your chest, like this, chest up, and this is called a goblet sumo squat. If you want to make it extra hard, turn the kettlebell upside down, hold it over your head, and this is going to really engage your core, and drop into a sumo squat. Try and keep it slow and controlled. This workout is not about pace. Down for two, up for two. So those are the three progressions of the squat. Our next move is a lunge. If you've got something to hold on to, I really recommend it for this workout. It's not about balance, it's just about leg strength. So take your left foot forward. So the foot closest to the bar or chair, or whatever you're using to hold on to. Take your other foot back and make sure there's about a skateboard's width between your legs. We're going to slowly drop down for two. Again, it doesn't have to be deep. It just has to be controlled. And what we need to do is tuck that tailbone under, squeeze your glutes before you sink into the, into the lunge. If you want to make it a little bit harder, take your weight. If your left foot is forward, then you're going to hold the weight in your right hand. If your right foot is forward, the weight goes in your left hand. Using your other hand to hold on to the um, bar, we drop down for two and rise for two. Really good. Try and keep that kettlebell as close to your body as you can. If you want to change the focus to your quads rather than your glutes, make the, make the lunge a little bit narrower and that way you'll work the front of the legs rather than the back of your legs. So this is a narrow stance lunge. If you want to do the other side, exactly the same thing. Right foot forward, weight in your left hand. You drop down for two and up for two. Your next move is called a sissy squat. Without weight, it looks like this. 
Make sure you've got something really solid to hold on to. Come onto your toes. Take your feet about hip width apart. And we're just going to bend the knees, keeping our chest nice and upright. Again, it doesn't have to be deep. I just want it slow and controlled. This is working the front of your legs. Squeezing your glutes. Keeping your heels off the ground. If you've got maybe a couple of books you can pop your heels on, that might also help. want to progress it, you can always go deeper or you can take it away, you just hold it by your side and we we'll drop down. Same thing on the other side, switch hands. Whatever you do, make sure it's even on both sides. The weight drops towards your heels. Final move. You don't need any weights for this move. Standing in the centre, you can hold on to something if you want. Place your weight on one leg and we're just going to tap back at 45 degrees, keeping that back leg nice and straight. You want to make it harder, don't touch the floor. So just 10 pulses on each side. Okay, that's our four moves. We're going to do 10 of each one and about 15 seconds break in between each exercise. You don't have to do this workout very fast. Don't be afraid to keep touching pause and doing it in your own time. Okay, let's start with the sumo squats. Choose your option from the list of progressions that I've made at the start. And we're going to go for 10 reps, two down, two up. Ready? Let's go. Down for two, up for two. Take that pace or even slow. Squeeze the glutes before you lower yourself down to turn your knees out. That's four. Halfway. If you're feeling confident and you've got good flexibility, you can drop it a little bit lower. But just check that chest doesn't drop forward. Okay, last three, let's do it together. Last one. Awesome. Take a few seconds to grab a drink if you need it, shake it out. We're going to go straight into our lunges. Choose your progression. Right foot forward, left foot back, holding onto something. We drop down for two and up. Try not to lock out your knees, try to keep a little bit of flex in the joint. That's three. Remember to squeeze your glutes before you lower yourself down. Last four. Three, don't be afraid to take a little break and come back in and finish the reps. Two, one. Awesome, other side. Halfway, keep those abs engaged. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. We're going to do this sissy squat, but it's 10 reps in total. We're going to do five on each side. So we're going to go with the right arm first. Holding onto the bar or the chair or whatever you're using, sofa, countertop. Come onto your toes, hold the weight in your right arm. You're going to drop down nice and slowly to two counts and back up. Tuck that tailbone under, squeeze the glutes. We're going to just turn those knees out. One more. And change sides. Take a nice deep breath. And we go again. Five. Keep your feet about that hip width apart. Three. 
two, one. Amazing. And your fourth move, ditch the weights, glute kick back, but we're gonna go out at 45 degrees. So weight in one leg, you can either have your hands on your hips or by your side, completely up to you. Draw those abs in, tuck the tailbone under, and let's go. One, two, three, just 10 reps. Slow it down if you need to. Keep that back leg nice and straight. The only muscles that should be working is your core and your glutes. Last two, last one. Now give me 10 on the other side. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven. Soften that standing leg and relax. Okay, that's round one done. If you feel like that's enough for you, Press pause and come back later in the week or later in the day. Otherwise, stay tuned because I'm going to go straight into round two and we're going to do it all again. Ready? Okay, let's go straight into sumo squats. You can do this with or without your weight. I'm using a 5 kg kettlebell. Take your feet just wider than hip width apart. Aim to drop your bum between your heels. Ready? Let's go. Turn those knees out. 10 reps, two down, two up. That's three. You can always go slower than me. It's completely up to you. Five. Six. Seven. Keep those knees turned out. Nine. Ten. And we're going to go into lunges. I'm going to start with my left foot forward, right foot back, holding my weight in my right hand. You can always do this without weights. Remember the progressions in part one. Let's go. Squeeze those glutes before you descend. Two. It doesn't have to be a deep lunge. It just has to be controlled. That's four. Six more. You can always go slower than me. And change to the other side. That's four. You're doing really well now. Keep it going. Six. Seven, just three more. You can always ditch the weights if you need to. And last one. Awesome. You can keep hold of your weights or you can let go of them. Completely up to you, sissy squats. So holding onto the bar, come up onto your heels, your feet hit with the par. We're gonna tuck the tailbone under, draw the abs in. Keeping the chest and upper body completely in line. We're just going to let the knees come forward. So we're really working the quads. I want five on this side and then five on the other side. Slow it down. And one more. And change sides. Those glutes engaged, tailbone tucked under. If you feel like you're coming out of shape, then just stop, take a minute to reset, and go again. One more. And final move. Place your weights on the floor, you don't need them. Hands on your hips or by your side. Glute kickbacks at 45 degrees, 10 on each side. Ready? Tuck that tailbone under. Just your glutes working. Eight, nine, ten, and change. Ten on the other side. If you want to make it harder, don't touch the floor. Eight, nine, 
10. Great work guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Check out more videos from Chronically Awesome on our website, chronicallyawesome.org.uk or on our video site, Patreon.